some of you just want to jump off the bridge and call it quits. But I'm here to tell you, you can't and you need to do this and you will succeed. All right, so if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, go to Apple and Spotify. Make sure you leave me a five-star review. Let me know what you like and so I can continue to give this content. So today's video is about, uh, you know, if you have a salary job, you're at corporate America and you just want to make some extra income, that is totally fine. You like the security of, of, of your job and you just want to make an extra few bucks, that's totally cool. I'm helping my clients right now, um, you know, do just that. And eventually over time, those clients will want to do it full time. Um, if their business allows it, that's, that's their goals. And hopefully we, we get there, uh, with the strategy that we use and I'm confident eventually we'll be able to do that. So like I spoke about in my last video about having uh, a plan, right? By you just identifying your zone of genius by you have a strategic uh, plan of delivering your coaching service, your speaking courses, your digital products, uh, your marketing strategy, and you're finding yourself having some wins. And maybe you're, you're able to forecast, you know, a couple of months, I mean, you make 500, you make a thousand, you know, you make, you know, uh, a few thousand. So now you can say, okay, this is real. I like my day job. I like the security It's going to keep my partner happy and, and, and confident in my, my skills to, to keep the family stable and provide that. But while you have that extra side money that's building up and it's paying for different things, it's, it's adding to the savings account, it's adding to, you know, pouring back into the business so you can hire uh virtual as assistants to do the, the admin type of, you know, jobs that repeated things, the clerical work, um, and then essentially you can scale from there. So you don't have to jump off the bridge, right? Like I said, at the beginning of this video, if you want to make that side money and you want to automate it, you know, yeah, ultimately whatever that number is, let's just say it's $10,000 a month. That's pretty good. That's over six figures a year that you could just save up. You could save up for your kid's college tuition. You could save up for, you know, your kid's car. You can do it. You could save up for retirement. Maybe you got into your career later and you're jamming maybe five, six, 10 years in it and you don't have the the security that you would like to retire. So maybe this is just adding income to your 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 personal income to, to be comfortable when you do actually want to retire. And maybe at that time that your side business is still going, you can still generate revenue and, and pour gasoline on the fire and then blow it out when you're ready. But I, I do think that if you're not ready, if you have it, you know, ha have a strategy of, you know, what your finances look like. If you're not able to forecast, you know, what you're going to get month to month on the consistent, by the consistent content, by the consistent emails or, or newsletters that you send out, then you're doing it wrong. Again, if you watch my other videos, it's a strategy uh, to do it. And you cannot just think it's going to happen and do a couple uh, videos or a couple emails, a couple funnels and think is just going to work. You actually have to work it. So if you want to work maybe one to two hours a week on your business, creating content, you know, uh, working on your funnels, hiring virtual assistants, there's a strategy to do that. And if you would like to know more about that, make sure you hit the link in the description, fill out that form to apply to see if we're a good fit to work together. If not, keep on watching. And when you are ready, again, come back and we can have a conversation if it's the right fit. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Hopefully that you got something from this video. It wasn't really deep. It was like, just don't jump because you have to have a plan. You have to work that plan. You have to see results from your side business, right? To make that, uh, to make it into something real, right? So if you wanted to make on the other side of it, if you really wanted to make your side hustle, your main hustle, you have to sacrifice of going out with your friends. You have to put time into this so it can become real. And the more you put into it, the more you'll get from it. So hopefully that makes sense. You know, again, let's recap, just pause. You, you found some wins, but really do the math uh, on what it would look like and what it would take on a month 
in a month out, week on week, what it will look like to generate the revenue you would need to to jump from your current career. So honestly, if I was making, let's just say a hundred thousand dollars in my role in corporate America or whatever job I, you know, I had, does the side hustle double or does it make that? And has it been making that on, you know, six to eight months to so a year plus? Okay, then I would have the um, you know, the fortitude to say, okay, and discuss it with my partner, discuss it and say, okay, this is what I'm thinking. Not to ask for permission, but to have their support more than anything. And then once you have your ducks in a row, your savings, uh, and you you have your content plan, you have your your funnel plan, you have your community plan, you're working the plan and the plan is working for you, then you can make that leap of faith and, and go into full time entrepreneurship, but not if you're not ready. So uh, the moral of the story of this video is count the cost before you jump. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.